Okay, thanks for tuning in everybody. I got a really exciting one here. I've been waiting for this one for quite a long time. It's just been released. I want to say first off to thanks to GearBest.com for sending this to us for a review. I will have a link in the description down below as always where you can pick this one up. Um, so I'm really excited to get into this one. This is going to be a quick unboxing and overview and then we'll go ahead and take it for a flight. So that will be a separate review but let's go ahead and see what you get. Obviously this is the JJRC JJ Pro P130 Battler. So it's a 130 size quadcopter featuring uh, you know FPV and of course our fly sky transmitter they do have two different versions they have a bind and fly and have a ready to fly this is the ready to fly version and it is going to come with a 5.8 gigahertz 800 tvl uh, 40 channel race band uh, fpv transmitter um, so obviously that's going to be ready to go and as you can see here on the box you know adjustable cam uh, adjustable lens on that too so of course we will take a look at that so just taking a look at the box looks like it's pretty much the same on the front just a couple different colors that are going to be available. They've got the green, the yellow, and the blue, and then the JJ Pro, and then pretty much nothing on the bottom. So this is, uh, according to the top of the box, supposed to have a Naze 32 uh, flight controller, and that's going to have the 12 amp uh, fly color, 12 amp uh, ESCs as well, and 1806, uh, and 1806, 2300 kV. Uh, motors as well so pretty nice little setup for a nice little quad um, you know if you've been thinking about maybe getting like a, like a Walkera Rodeo or maybe even like um, what is that the the Anthem Adam um, X the Rotor X that little that little one that's really super popular right now in the market but um, those are a little bit more costly I think this might be a really awesome budget friendly um, package um, versus those two so let's go ahead and get into it and see what you get so obviously you pull the foam out um, first thing is we've got our our transmitter so a nice little foam sleeve these keep these little foamies because if you decide you want to get a case these are always nice to slide into the cases and keeps everything nice and organized so that's our normal fly sky uh, FS um, i6 uh, transmitter pretty straightforward on there we'll go definitely get into that these do take four um, double A's and they do have um, trainer port on the back as well so nice little transmitter um, you can see we've got our plug here for US obviously being in the US and it looks like we've got a little Allen wrench as well and that's gonna be it and that one so let's go ahead and get into this one so this is what we've been waiting for here our quadcopter go ahead and pull it out very snug but fits in there tight so if you're going to keep that shouldn't get tossed around very much super light really nice little quadcopter I love the design of this thing um, just a really awesome little flyer I mean that fits in the palm of my hand that is so cool I think a lot of people really like the idea of smaller quads uh, being able to zip in and out of smaller spaces, um, you know, some backyard FPV flying without being too, too intimidated with tons and tons of power of a, a high performance racer. But this is an awesome little racer, a uh, little FPV quad um, at a really nice price point that fits in the palm of your hand. That's really cool. So obviously we'll just confirm here on the motors. So... Yes, 1806, uh, 2300 kV motors on there. And then we've got our prop nut. So that's nice. We can use that. So we can, if we want to customize our propellers, we've got XT60 connector on the rear for our LiPo. Um, and then, of course, we've got our FPV camera up front. It does use its own circular polarized. So unfortunately, you will not be able to switch that out unless you, you know, do some, do some work to that. Um, but it does have one already, as you can see, and that is a right-hand circular polarized, so that's a nice little FPV antenna. Not going to want to take this one too, too far with that little antenna, um, but that's a nice, nice little setup. And I like the adjustability of this camera, so you can see you've got some pretty good adjustment to it, and they did kind of notch out the interior of that to make uh, allow for space. So that's about the maximum angle with the factory setup as you can see so pretty nice 
I'll put that lens cap back on top there and we can see we've got our flight controller everything really accessible we've got our USB port right here on the side pretty nice all you guys like getting in there and tuning these up nice and accessible we've got let's see here of course we've got our antennas here probably want to maybe set up some antenna tubes or something to kind of keep these out of the way um, not sure if I want to trust that if this gets in a crash these could probably get tore up by the propellers so I want to take a look at that but of course we've got our, our NACE 32 flight controller you can see that in there one of the things on the bottom of this quad that I noticed so the landing legs are interesting they went with a foam so pretty straightforward if you rip these off they should just be able to get the stick on ones pretty easy but they're nice and dense so that's going to be pretty nice to be able to land and then the ESC's are on the bottom not on the top like we just we traditionally see so I'm sure that's for space purposes you could fit the ESC's on the bottom here and you've got the wiring running through this kind of uh, foam uh, sticky material two-sided material so not sure how long that's going to last in a lot of crashes and stuff this material so might want to come out with something a little bit more durable we shall see um, but it looks like everything's down pretty good our ESC's don't look to be zip tied down so we probably want to add a couple zip ties here on the under part there um, but looks pretty straightforward we've got our receiver here right underneath pretty standard size receiver so it looks pretty awesome so far I like the I like the uh, digital camo print on it it's pretty cool let's go ahead and take a look at the props so we do get two full sets of spare props and they're tri-blade props so that's pretty awesome and then we've got another one and looks like we've got we got our bind plug here so that will come with that that's handy and then of course we're going to have our lipo charger so if you don't have a lipo charger this is a ready to fly package so that will give you b3 uh, charger for one two and three cell the quadcopter does come with one lipo so you're definitely going to want to pick up some more of these the lipo it comes with is a 850 milliamp 30 c with a xt60 connector that's a three cell that's a 11.1 volt lipo so keep that in mind a little bit of interesting size um, obviously GearBest will be selling these I'll leave a link in the description below for those too if you want to pick up some extra batteries I definitely recommend it um, and then of course we've got our balance plug here so nice setup if you've got a hobby grade style charger you can definitely hook that up um, with that or you can charge to the balance lead through the charger that does come with it and I did notice that it does come with a uh, little double-sided sticky sticky uh, uh, velcro here so you've got velcro that I'm guessing there they want you to mount on the battery and that keeps the battery from sliding around so I'm not sure how much of a fan I am of that I can see how that would work but I'm thinking a battery strap would probably be a better option you can just maybe strap this around maybe have a tight one because um, it is a kind of a thin plate there up top where you do uh, mount the battery um, so that's why they give you that to help that from from sliding off and there's something else in here I'm hoping it's a battery strap oh yes it is okay so you do get the battery strap so there you go so the, I'm, I'm guessing the velcro to keep that battery down a little bit better and then you do have the battery strap so you can strap that battery right on top so that's definitely a must-have on there I would actually recommend more of like a rubberized anti-skid pad um, that they that a lot of uh, companies sell you can just cut out and that, that'll help the battery from sliding around that way you don't have to put velcro on every one of your batteries um, and then just strap it down that that should keep it pretty tight uh, of course hard hard crashes that might come off but um, that should keep it down if you keep that that strap on there pretty nicely so pretty awesome so far let's go ahead and put it on the scale and see what this thing weighs and then uh, we'll do some measurements as well all right so let's go ahead and put this on the scale see how much it weighs so we got 7.2 ounces for the quadcopter and our battery we got 9.6 hopefully you can see that 9.6 ounces 
And let's go ahead and throw our little battery strap. I don't think that's going to make a difference, but the scale is not sensitive enough for that. And let's go ahead and throw our props on here and see with our props what it weighs. And it looks like we're at, looks like 10 ounces. 10 ounces, 10.1, 10 ounces. So super lightweight little quadcopter. One of the main things I really love about this thing and why I've been eyeballing it and had to get my hands on one of these awesome little flyers. Hopefully it is an awesome little flyer, awesome little quadcopter from JJRC. So let's go ahead and take a look at some measurements on this guy and see what kind of carbon fiber we're looking at. So our main body here, see if we can get a good angle here. Looks like we're three millimeters. So nice thick carbon fiber there. And our top plate is about half that, about one and a half, 1.6. So about half that on the carbon fiber and of course we'll measure our shafts here on our motors so we've got the threads here 4.8 the bottom shaft 4.9 so that's your size on your shafts on those and then of course our our propellers I'm sure Propellers here, we've got these are going to categorize as three inch props, I'm sure. Exact measurement looks like two and three quarters or so on that measurement on the propeller. So Awesome little guy. I'm going to put these props on this, see how it flies. I definitely like the design of it so far. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the unboxing, just kind of showing you what you're getting with this little guy. Really awesome, budget friendly. Um, you know, like I said, if you're looking for a, an FPV flyer that can fit in the palm of your hand, this thing's only like 160 bucks right now, I think, on GearBest. So really awesome um, price point for something like this. Definitely want to check it out. Uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know. I'll try to answer them if I can. Again, I'm no expert by any means, uh, but I will do my best to cover everything that I that I do know. Um, as always, if you liked it, give me a like. Hit me up in the comments, and please subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks again for watching.